What can someone do to get you to like them within about a minute or two of meeting you? I had a client tell me she really likes me bc you can tell I genuinely listen to everything she's saying and give an honest, thought out response. My business with said client ended back in February and she moved 800 miles away, but she still texts and calls periodically to catch up with my family. This means so much to me bc I have very bad social anxiety and am trying my best to seem normal around people, especially clients. Some of the friendliest, most welcoming people I've met later admit they have bad social anxiety. It always surprises me, but I guess it makes sense in some ways. It comes down to thoughtfulness. Social anxiety comes partly from overthinking things, but in a way, it means you are always in a state of thought about how you appear speak and generally interact with someone else due to this constant tension. It's exhausting. But that thoughtfulness does show in conversation. It's nice when social anxiety sufferers warm up to conversation after being around for a while. That's so true. I always get told how great of a guest I'm whenever I visit someone's house. And I wish I could tell them that I actually feel like I'm dying all the time. When the person makes you feel valued, that talking with you is a pleasure. Not just perfunctory. Door-to-door -door salespeople are really good at this. I estimate you and your value to be high enough to buy my stupid ass product. Fine sir or madam. A genuine smile and not complaining. So many people start a conversation by complaining about some aspect of their life that's just no way to live. I realized recently that I'm bad for doing this surprisingly difficult habit to break. I do this too. I like to complain because it helps me cope with my day-to-day -day responsibilities. Take it from a nurse that alone will only get you so far if cynicism is the only tool in your box. Eventually the people around you will take notice and start instinctively distancing themselves from the negativity. At a certain point you need to start dealing with it in a healthier way. Most recently I've started trying to counter negative thoughts immediately with a positive one. It's helped a bit, but is one of many tools in my box. Wedged between bottles of liquor. What are some coping mechanisms that you would recommend? I'm down for anything. I really like the positive thought tactic. Literally any attempt at humor instantly earns my respect. A friend of mine gave this girl a handshake while introducing himself. A second later he said while laughing, just so you know, I jerked off with that hand. She took a step back and looked frightened af. He then continued, not today though, and I've obviously showered since. Nervous laughter from her while saying that's good to know. I kinda wanted to die witnessing this shit. Lol. So, ye. Do not tell someone you've just met you've jerked off with the hand you just used to give an introductory handshake. Even as a joke. So that's why everyone always takes a step backwards. It might be the poop in your pants. Carrot, I think the principal just pooped his pants. Close bracket. Active listening. Pay attention to the person speaking and acknowledge what they're saying. When it comes to your turn to speak, chat for a short while. But bring it back around to them by asking open-ended questions and continue to actively listen. I don't know the full science behind it. But I read something before that it creates a comfortable relationship in the person's brain and they will instinctively like you more. N. B. I can't say this actually worked for me. I'm rather socially inept so actually coming up with open-ended questions is a struggle. Can confirm. People say that I'm one of the most comfortable people to talk to and that they feel like they can talk with me about anything. A great conversationalist. ETC little do they know. Most of my side of the conversation is just asking questions and using their answers to ask another question. That's what good conversations are though. Without each person building on each other's responses it is just people talking at each other. Unless you mean they don't do that and you are just prompting them to continue talking. Well that is a whole other kettle of fish. You'll be surprised how many people don't have this skill. <laughs> Laugh at my dumb jokes. What can I say? I'm a simple woman. Flattery goes far. I'd love to hear a joke. What did the fish say when he swam into a wall? Damn. I laughed so hard at this OMG. It might sound silly and simplistic, but be comfortable and open. That helps the other person to do the same. Now it sounds more like hard and impossible. 
I've always been a more quiet and reserved person around new people at least and it always takes me a bit longer to warm up to them. I know what you mean that it sounds impossible. But you should try it. It can feel really uncomfortable at times. Because I honestly don't even know what to say to someone I just met. And I might fumble my words. But it's all worth it. I hope you do try though it's really helped me feel a bit more comfortable around new people slash environments in my own skin too. I never actually noticed how shy I actually was, or how I just can't start a conversation with people in my class BC of that like a year ago. When I was in my old class I wasn't like that normally BC I knew all KF them for a few years so having that now is pretty hard. But I manage RN it's become easier recently BC I'm opening up a bit, and stopped having bad thoughts all the time. That's great dude I'm glad you're making progress. I know exactly how you feel about struggling to talk to people in classes and being too hard on yourself. I guess our personalities aren't too different haha. <laughs> Keep moving forward friend. Your future self is thanking you already. If I make a joke and they successfully yes. And me. That feels really good. I love it when someone adds on. I also love it when someone sets me up. 10 tenths would talk to again. Stick up for someone. I, plumber, was meeting with a group of realtors to discuss some repairs that needed to be done at a house. One of the realtors was talking about another agent and said that she was retarded. Jason, one of the agents, stood up for her. Hey man, it's not cool to talk about her behind her back like that. And you shouldn't use the R word massive respect since then. And you shouldn't use the R word realtor. The other R word. Oh. Refrigerator? No. Redditor. Any act of kindness. One time a friend of mine asked to carry my computer bag, and I was like whoa I never noticed him before. It wasn't heavy but him being considerate really got me. I read asking someone for a small favor like to borrow a pencil gets people to feel connected to you. I think asking to help would have a similar effect. It's basically the same concept, but you're on the giving side instead of receiving. Asking me for a pencil is the opposite effect. I'd know I'll never get it back. Half or real. I'm watching you the whole time waiting for you to start walking off and yelling out to you to give me my pencil back. Hand me cash. Here's three sweaty dollars that I keep in my sock. Come sock. Come stock. Comcast. Tell them something personal for example. I'm hiding kids in my basement. Basement is really the best option. If you put them in the attic all they do is make an awful amount of noise. The pro tip, in case you don't have a basement, is to lay down the glass wall. If you are lucky you can even gather enough blood for the bee weekly offering and can keep the kid. I heard keeping people in the attic is a pretty successful strategy. Silly you. Kids are not people. Yes. They are objects. Just like women. Slashes. Smile. Really? This can't tell how many times I've introduced myself to someone and all they did is saying their name and looking at me like I just murdered their cat. Makes me instantly dislike them. Oops. Sometimes I think I'm smiling, but I actually look like that. S. Not be a dick. Backslash backslash. Sad Richard noises backslash backslash. It's okay Richard. I like you. Well. Now I have to legally change my name to Richard for this relationship to work. You better do. Or I will take the kids. I don't really. It's like a gut feeling for me. I might instantly like someone. Or instantly dislike them. I would say be nice. But sometimes if I feel like I won't like the person. Even when they are being nice I won't still like them. This is not a good thing. And I'm trying so hard to change. Be kind. Anyone can fake being nice, but kindness comes from the core of one's being. That's a long ass time dude. If you have someone's attention, be kind. Interested in that person. Happy and outgoing. Hug me for a long time. With or without the hair sniffing and heavy breathing? Is it really a hug without that? Quoting airplane. I mean. A significant part of that movie is conversation so bad several people kill themselves. That being said, I could be misremembering on account of my drinking problem. I'm not an airplane guy with a drinking problem. I'm a drinking guy with an airplane problem. Within a conversation, 
Try to find what is exciting them at the moment, and try to include whatever knowledge you have of that topic into conversation, or look interested into what they are saying. Sometimes people just want good listeners. Have a dog. Hello. I have two dogs. I have five. I also have a cat. I have two cats that were raised by a Rottweiler. They are the best cats I've had. Compliment something about me that could be changed in five minutes or less. Like a piece of clothing or my hair. Lot of people don't realize that complimenting body parts isn't something you do to a stranger because it's objectifying and uncomfortable. That aside, anyone who cares about what I write about is gonna make a friend real fucking quick because I crave validation for my writing. I could talk endlessly, but I don't, because I know no one wants to hear that shit, but if someone does I will die on the spot. What kind of stuff do you write? Sweats why you? You don't. You don't wanna get me started on my hyperfixations it'll be paragraphs long. Okay. He dead. Food always makes me happy. Just be friendly and sincere. If they have an authentic positivity and seem happy to be interacting with me, that's all it takes. It makes me think well this is a nice person. Even if I feel like it's not entirely genuine, I'll at least appreciate that they are trying and that's worth a lot on its own. Talk to me like we've known each other for years. Had a guy who did this in a weekend camp and everyone thought we've known each other from before the camp didn't even introduce ourselves to each other, and the camp ended without both of us not knowing the other's name. This makes me like other women right away. She can ask me something. Like if she has spinach in her teeth, or if I have a tissue, and then we are commiserating about never remembering to put floss in our purses, or how much allergies suck. Make me laugh. If you meet them for the first time just be nice. Be totally sincere. Even when it'll make me upset. That gives me security that this person will not bullshit with me. I remember when I was in high school I did this once. Hey. Do you know you're kind of a bitch and that speaking shit about everyone makes you seem kind of desperate. She was a major B I learned that this is not the correct way to talk to someone. Even if you have good reason to- Learn their name. Not your head when you and them are talking. And be interested in meeting them. I have to turn it on. But my wife says she can tell when I do it. Mutual contribution to the conversation or discussion. It's a huge turn off when one person is carrying the conversation. It is equally frustrating when one person is very succinct and just contributes to the conversation by asking questions. It very much becomes an interview slash interrogation. If you want someone to have a good first impression, backslash backslash be lighted, positive backslash backslash ask genuine questions but also contribute to the conversation answer questions genuinely people pick up on things especially in the beginning of the start of a relationship a simple genuine smile if you are new to tattletale tv please subscribe i have new videos every day stay tuned right now for another